All right, welcome back to the part two of the Harvard 420M, yet another 1981 UK CB radio which utilises the Sabinet PTBM 134AOX chassis. All right, having done the transmitter, I just broke off there to change the meter lamp in the radio under repair at the moment. That's now lit up and working, so we move on to the receiver. As you can hear, we've got the signal generator on and already checked the VCO if you remember on the previous um, part when we were doing the transmitter so the first thing we need to do is to go through the uh, the receiver number one to do on the receiver number one I've got a sign up meter here and we've got an oscilloscope also hooked up to that I'll just uh, it's the left hand oscilloscope there. We'll just mask that a bit different. So I'm looking at that. I'm also looking at the cyanide meter. So here we go. T5 is the first one to adjust on the receiver. And this is already working well. I think the reason this has come in for repair was the transmitter was only doing one and a half watts, the meter lamp had failed. Uh, I've still got the um, aerial socket to tighten up at the back there. So there's one or two little issues uh, which are not to be um, to be quite expected of course of a set which is 30 years old. So here we go, we'll just adjust that one, make sure we've got peak there. Which we have. So move on to the second one, which is, we've got down T7, which is under the wiring harness there. And once again, that's peaked. It's very quick and easy with the right test equipment. It's a signal generator, a sign meter, using the oscilloscope. And uh, you just back off the signal to something which is quite low. For this, the third, third one we do is T8. And there we go, that's P. T9 next to it, use the yellow tool for that. That's fine. T10. Fine. T11. That's fine. And finally, with a big signal, turning the signal generator off quite heftily. I'll just put the um, other camera back on so you can see that. This is the detector. This often gets overlooked. And you'll see if we can peak this. And we can. So it was probably a bit distorted on receive as well, so that's brought that up. So we've ended up putting the radio back on frequency, we've ended up doing the detector, uh, we've changed the meter lamp, there was a problem with the transmitter being misaligned, partly because of a broken core on L8, which was replaced off a scrap chassis, realigned the transmitter, brought it back from 1.5 watts to 4 watts, the attenuator, which should have been uh, switching between 4 watts and 0.4 watts, was actually switching to nothing, uh, so that's been rectified as well. So, um, apart from a bit of uh, casework respray and rub down, that will be ready to go back to the customer. I think we'll do another video with this on the air and then you can see it when it's uh, been finished. So, once again, I hope you found that quite interesting and enjoyable. We'll do a sensitivity check now. I need to have S9 at 100 microvolts it's just slightly low that it's s8 the receiver adjustment on these radios is for the receive meter is the preset which is just there next to the an240 if subsystem chip and that is for the receive meter so we'll just adjust that slightly it's not far out but it's far enough out for me to adjust so we'll bring that up to s9 
otherwise the customer will say it's got a lazy needle. There we go, that's done that. And then we just need to check the squelch. As I've said many times before, there's nothing worse than a radio which, if you turn to full squelch, won't let any signal through ever. Now we could do with a bit more um, coarseness, it's the opposite way on this. And it's RV1, which is supposed to be down there, it's under the wiring harness. RV1, that's better, and that's still opening at a sensible rate. We'll put this receiver to no squelch, turn the signal generator off, set the squelch, and see how that performs. And that squelch is coming in brilliantly. Now turn it off all together. And on the sensitivity check there, the radio is doing about 0.3 of a microvolt, which is absolutely fine. So there we are, that concludes that. So I'll do another video when we've uh, done the case and put it back together. We'll put it on the aerial and uh, see whether there's anybody... Uh, in the because uh, it is a rural location, this you can sometimes pick people up um, uh, elsewhere. Right, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it.